Colin Kaepernick wants us to be quiet. This is NFL in 90. Start the clock. Okay, I'll talk as loud as I want, but if you're a hater, the 49ers quarterback says zip it. Cap hit Instagram after Sunday's 27-24 win over the Saints to silence the haters. Apparently being quarterback of a 5-4 team gives you that right. We'll give him credit though, snapping the Saints 11 game home win streak is a big deal. So is saving your season with a big pass on 4th and 10 to Michael Crabtree. And hey, it helps when one of your teammates pulls a soccer worthy flop to wipe out a Hail Mary and let you win the game in overtime. Okay, yeah, I'm still hating Colin. Next week's Lions-Cardinals game wasn't expected to be one of the year's best before the season, but it's going to be huge. Detroit moved to 7-2 this week on Matthew Stafford's last-minute touchdown pass over Miami, while Arizona's defense pummeled St. Louis. The Cards are 8-1 and off to their best starts since they were in Chicago in 1948. But not all the news is good. Quarterback Carson Palmer left the game with a suspected ACL tear days after signing a huge contract extension. Attention! The curse of Justin Bieber is a thing, and it is real. The pop star showed up for the Steelers' prayer session on Saturday, and the team came out and laid an egg against the Jets on Sunday. Three-game win streak over. Cleveland might have Bieber fever, though. The Browns are now in first place this late in the season for the first time since 1995. The Chiefs' win in Buffalo should go a long way in the AFC playoff race, and they did it under the watchful eye of fake Andy Reid. That's a much better costume than these Cowboys fans who watched Dallas say cheerio to the Jags in London. Finally, the Ravens were steamed that CBS showed John Harbaugh's comments about the Steelers after a win over the Titans. Look, man, if you're going to talk the talk, then walk the walk. Colin Kaepernick would want you to. Follow me on Twitter at Kevin Kaduk. And for the best NFL coverage all week, follow Shutdown Corner on Yahoo Sports. Have a great week, everyone.